Shoppers, brace yourselves. The era of cheap clothing may be at an end. Sales have surged as prices have fallen over the past decade, with British women now buying more than twice as much as they did in 1995, according to one report. But that trend could be under threat because of the soaring cost of cotton and other costs. Olivia Stearns reports. Low-cost clothing has been flying off the racks. Two pounds for a T-shirt, six for a child's raincoat, 40 for an entire outfit. Shoppers have gotten used to paying less in recent years, but retailers say prices may now have to rise. Overall, we anticipate a rise of between 5 and 8 percent in spring-summer 10 prices. Since 1998, clothing prices in Britain have fallen annually almost 3 percent. Last year, they flattened out. Now they're expected to rise more than 4 percent and keep on climbing after that. Analysts say retailers are under pressure from all sides. The price of cotton is at a high and it's still going up. We've got VAT in the UK going up. That's very unhelpful. We've got shipping costs which have gone up. Most goods come from abroad. That's unhelpful. And then we've got a general rise in things like energy cost, surface transportation cost. Those things put pressure on prices. High street stores like H&M, Primark and Next have all warned of rising costs. The question now is how much of that will they absorb and how much will they pass on to customers? For many, it depends on where the price of cotton goes from here. The price of cotton has more than doubled in the past 18 months. It's now expected to moderate, though, as supplies increase. In terms of cotton prices, that's unlikely to come at least on, out until the end of this year when the U.S. harvest comes on board and, you know, into early next year. So at least, I think, in the very immediate term, retailers are likely to continue to fail the pinch of uh, higher prices. Analysts say it's too soon to call this the end of cheap clothes. But shoppers should expect that today's prices are just about as low as they'll go. Olivia Stearns, Bloomberg, London.